Have you ever wanted to select a range of months in a year, but found the options just weren't cutting it? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into how to create a custom selection view, similar to a rating bar for selecting months. I totally get it. It can be really frustrating when you need a specific feature and can't find it anywhere. You're not alone in this. Many developers face similar challenges when trying to create intuitive user interfaces. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. One user recently asked for a way to select months like a rating bar, where they can select March and slide their finger to make a selection without leaving any unselected months in between. Sound familiar? Let's explore how we can tackle this together. So, what makes this feature tricky? The challenge lies in creating a smooth user experience that allows for intuitive month selection without gaps. We'll break down the steps to achieve this functionality. And stick around. I've got a fantastic tip at the end that will help you enhance your user interface even further. To create a selection view similar to a rating bar for months, the user should start by designing a custom component. This component will allow users to select a range of months by dragging their finger across the screen. Next, the user should implement touch event listeners. These listeners will track the user's finger movement and determine which months are selected based on the position of the finger. Now the user needs to define the logic for selecting months. This involves mapping the finger's position to the corresponding months and ensuring that only full months are selected without any gaps. Finally, the user should test the component to ensure it behaves as expected. This includes checking that the selection updates correctly as the user drags their finger across the screen. Fun fact, did you know that the first graphical user interfaces were developed in the 1970s? They were a game changer for how we interact with computers today. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. One user shared their manual approach to creating a selection of months similar to a rating bar. They used a flexbox layout to arrange 13 checkboxes for each month. The background and text color of the checkboxes change based on their state, allowing users to select multiple months easily. They also provided XML code for the color states and drawable resources for the checkboxes, ensuring a visually appealing selection interface. That wraps up that answer. Let's move on to another one. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests using two libraries for your rating bar-like selection. The first is called Material Range Bar, which you can include in your project with a simple dependency. The second option is the Range Seek Bar library, also available through a dependency. They recommend checking out the provided links for more details, noting that while these may not be a perfect fit, some customization could make them work for your needs. Here's that fantastic tip I promised. Consider adding animations to your month selection. Smooth transitions can make your app feel more polished and engaging. And there you have it. You now have the tools to create a month selection feature that feels intuitive and user-friendly. If you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and keep experimenting with your designs.